Welcome everyone. My name is Brandon Summers. I'm the PFR lead here at our Henderson, Kentucky location. With me today I've got Camille Lambert. She is our field agronomist for the Southern Marketing Area. And we wanted to come to you today and talk about some of the new studies that we're looking at here at the PFR farm for 2021. And one that we're really excited about is a seed orientation study. So this is a new product. Uh, it's called AeroTube. And it actually places the seed in the ground, tip down, with the germ facing the adjacent row. And Camille's going to talk to us a little bit about why that position is so important when placing the seed in the trench. Yeah, so suppose you could gain 9 to 29% yield just by placing the seed right. Would you be excited I to hear about it? I would be excited to hear about it. It catches that. my attention for sure. But this is something that we've got actually a lot of science on. I remember reading stuff on this a long time ago. So, you know, our typical planner, so you've got your seeds here. I'll just kind of draw them like pizzas for for show, but this is your tip here. So our typical planter is actually gonna place the seed flat with the germ up or down, and we know that we get a lot of variability out in the field. So when we have our seed pointing down, the root can grow straight down, the coleopter will grow straight up, but when we have the seed that's opposite, it takes a lot of energy to get these things where they need to go. So we know that if we can get that, it's gonna conserve energy, we're gonna get a more uniform um, emergence out there, and we know that we can be more successful Successful. When we talk about the uh, leaves facing the adjacent row, so these are your corn rows, if we have the leaves going with the row, we're not going to get the shade that we need to keep the weeds from emerging, and we're not going to get all the sunlight that we could potentially get if we had the leaves going outwards. So when we can gather all of that sunlight, we're going to be even more successful with our yields in the fall. Yep. So we're really excited to see how this one's going to turn out. We're going to compare this uh, aero tube system to just a normal seed tube on a planter. So it should be very interesting to see how it turns out. Another new study we've got for this year is one we're calling our large rain event study. So I'm sure many of you guys have always questioned yourselves, and I know I do here at the PFR Farm, is how far in advance from a rain event do I need to shut the planter down in? So this year we're going to try to put that to the test if Mother Nature will work with us. And we're going to look at planting three days in front of a large rain event. We're going to quantify something greater than one inch. And uh, we're going to try to plant every day up to that event and even on the day of the event if we have the chance. And then we're going to look at coming back and planting when ground conditions get fit again. So this is one we're going to really need Mother Nature to work with us on. 2020 was one that really kind of spurred this idea. We're going to look at it as a, from a temperature standpoint too at some of our sites. Uh, but here at the Henderson location, we're going to try to focus on the rain event one and see, because we had a lot of questions last year, especially with the cold weather, as to when do we shut down the planter? Should I be planting? Should I switch to beans? Mm -hmm. Really, what should I do there? And this is a question I get all the time too. So I'm excited to see this. Are we just doing this on corn? We're doing this on corn and soybeans, so nice. uh, we'll get to look at it on both aspects. Okay. And then another study, the last one we're going to talk about today that we're kind of excited about is our nitrogen placement study, 2x2 two two versus dribble. You know, we've been big proponents of the Precision Conceal system. It works very, very well for us, but we realize there is a big price difference between being able to lay the nitrogen on the surface behind the planter versus putting it in the ground with a system like Conceal. And this is one where we're going to compare the same rates of nitrogen. We're just going to look at putting them on the surface and in the ground. So this is one that uh, it's, it's, we've gotten a lot of questions about over the years. Yeah, the economics I'm excited to see. But, you know, guys that maybe don't have the nitrogen on their planter and they're doing a little bit with their burn down, we know that we can get a really good return when we give the nitrogen to the plant closer to when it actually needs to take it up. So I'm excited to see this. Yep. So we're really excited for these three studies and we can't wait to get them in the ground. We're in the middle of prepping right now for planting and hopefully we'll get started here in a couple weeks. Uh, but if, if you have any questions about these studies, we encourage you to reach out to your local Bex representative. And also we encourage you to like and follow us on Facebook and Twitter for updates just like these. Thanks. Thank you.